This is the Ballon d'Or, an award only given to the best players. And Lionel Messi has seven, making him the greatest in history. And this is me, the worst footballer in the world. But one day, I will be the greatest player of all time. It's a pressure moment. The weight of Barcelona's expectations on Lalo Salinas' shoulders. Can he put the ball away? And can he become the hero for Barcelona? He steps up to hit the ball and he puts it away in the top left corner. Lalo Salinas has won the Champions League for Barcelona and surely has cemented himself as the number one pick for the Ballon d'Or. What a player and what an incredible goal. It's now time to announce the Ballon d'Or winner. And the winner is Lalo Salinas. He wins his seventh Ballon d'Or at 27 years old. He equals Messi's record and is on the route to become the greatest player of all time. Surely it's only a matter of time before he wins his eighth. Wow, that's my brother. He's awesome. I want to be just like him one day. Hey brother, it's been eight years, eight years without you. I miss you, but I have good news. I have the opportunity to make you proud. The chance to become a pro footballer, just like you. Tomorrow is the Chance USA. The Chance USA is a new scouting camp where the best talents in America get to try out in front of teams like Real Madrid and your beloved club, FC Barcelona with only the three very best players being selected. I will do my best and become the best player I can. My career is dedicated to you. I love you, Lalo. Hey bro, my name is Lee and that's Izo. What's your name? Hey, my name's Edgar. My man, hey, what's good? You doing okay? I'm all right, man. I've just, I've just been through a lot. My brother was Lalo Salinas. Oh man, he was the best. I know it isn't my place to say, but you will never be able to fix that hole that's in you, but you can learn to let go of that dreadful day and remember the good times. Nah, nah, man. You definitely need to isolate yourself. The best way to move on is to be by yourself. Um, Izo, I don't know if that- All right, it's time after a lot of thinking, Real Madrid have decided to choose Iso Latino, the young talent from Mexico City. And the second player getting a professional contract, this time for FC Barcelona from Beijing, China, Li Tingo. Congratulations. And now for the final player, for the first time in history, in the Chance USA, both clubs wanted his last player and couldn't come to a fair deal. So they have allowed the player to choose his club. This player is Edgar Salinas from Laredo, Texas. So Edgar, what club will it be? Madrid or Barcelona? I can't choose Barca. I, I can't step on my brother's legacy. My, my choice is Real Madrid. It is the last day of the season. Real Madrid have already won the league title, but the world awaits the debut of Edgar Salinas, the brother of a legend that was gone too soon. There is a lot of pressure as Lalo was about to become the greatest player of all time before his untimely passing. Surely Edgar has his sights set to win eight Ballon d'Ors and become the greatest player of all time. Hello and welcome, it is the final day of the season. 
Today we have Real Madrid facing off against Barcelona. Can today's debutant, Edgar Salinas, younger brother of the late great Lalo Salinas, be the player to bring that La Liga trophy back to Madrid? Six minutes in, Barcelona in possession. No, nope, Real Madrid have taken possession back. Edgar Salinas lays the ball off. He's making a run into the box, brings it down on his right foot. A cross goal. What a goal. Edgar Salinas, the brother of the late great Lalo Salinas, has put the ball across the goal and into the back of the net. What a finish. Real Madrid with a searching ball forward into Salinas' feet. He makes a lovely turn, creates some space in the box, shoots across goal, and it is two goals for Edgar Salinas on his debut. This kid is going to be special. Ball lobbed over the top of Salinas to run onto. He brings it down with his head onto his left foot, cuts inside, left foot, near post. What a finish. That is a hat trick for Edgar Salinas against Barcelona on his debut in El Clasico. He has just won the league for Real Madrid on his debut. This kid is going to be a special footballer, just like his brother. And the ref has blown the final whistle, 3-0. All goals scored by Edgar Salinas. What an incredible debut that was, as Real Madrid walk up to the podium and lift the title. What an incredible debut. This will go down in history. Hello? Yo, what's up? It's Lee. Just wanted to congratulate you on your debut hat trick. Hey, thanks, man. I gotta go, though, so I'll talk to you later. Aight, see ya, man. Why are you talking to Lee? Here we go, it's time for the Champions League final. One year after Edgar made his debut, he's done nothing but destroy everything in his way, marching his team to the Champions League final. With Litingo eliminated in the semis and Iso Latino injured, Edgar will become the first ever graduate from the chance to play on the grandest stage of all time. Will he keep his cool? Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Tonight we have the Champions League final. Real Madrid facing off against Borussia Dortmund. Today we get to see Edgar, the younger brother of Lalo Salinas, play in his first Champions League final. Will he follow in the footsteps of his brother and lift this historic trophy for Real Madrid? 23 minutes in and a lovely through ball into Edgar Salinas, puts him through on goal, 1v1 with the keeper, he shoots! into the far post what a finish and this young man is the second coming of his brother what an incredible player corner for Borussia Dortmund can they pull one level at 87 minutes with only three left to play with the ball in headed away by Real Madrid no it's fallen in the box to Dortmund and Madrid scramble but managed to keep it clear that is the final whistle Real Madrid have won the Champions League in a tight 1-0 final and Edgar scored the deciding goal the only thing separating Madrid from Borussia Dortmund and now we watch as Real Madrid lift that Champions League trophy. Surely this will be the first of many for young Edgar Salinas. Real Madrid has won the Champions League and now it's time to announce the winner of this year's Ballon d'Or. Our final three is the youngest group in history with Isor Latino, Litingo and Edgar Salinas. Younger brother of the late great Lalo Salinas. And the player to win his first ever Ballon d'Or is... Edgar Salinas. Like I said, this kid has to become the greatest of all time. Football is in his genes. Hey Lalo, it's me again. I won my first Ballon d'Or. It only took me my second season. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. I love you, brother. It is time for the final group stage game of the World Cup. It's going to be an exciting one as well, as the next three greats are going to their first World Cup. Li is playing for China, Iso for Mexico, and who can forget the future GOAT, Edgar. He has won three Ballon d'Ors in a row, as well as two trebles in the last season. With Mexico needing a win, surely Edgar will drag Mexico to the next round, as he 
was rested for the first two games. Prepare for greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat we have for you today. In the final group game of the World Cup, we have a must-win game for Mexico against their international neighbours, the US men's national team. Edgar Salinas was rested for the first two matches and now leads out his country as captain in this huge game. If Mexico win, they will advance to the round of 16 in the World Cup. However, if they fail to win, they will be out of the World Cup. This is a very big game for Mexico. As we get things kicked off, Mexico are in possession. The ball played over the top to Edgar. He brings it down and it's an incredible goal. What a finish. This young man is not letting up. He has been in sensational form. Another chance for Mexico as Edgar has the US defenders backing off. He's through on goal. Finish. Incredible. 2-0 to Mexico. Two goals from Edgar. Surely this is going to be a dominant performance from the Mexicans. And Edgar puts in a foot and takes the ball from Weston McKenney. And Tyler Adams comes up behind and through Edgar's back. That was a horrific challenge. And Edgar Salinas does not look like he's ready to get up. The referee is approaching to see how Edgar is. Oh. Ah, oh, bro, no, I can't get injured. Oh, I have to win the World Cup. He waves to the bench. This does not look good. Now with the Mexican star player out, the US men's national team now starting to come back into the game. Pulisic in the box across the goalkeeper. And that brings the US back into this game. 2-1. Will Mexico hang on? And the ball floated into the Mexican penalty area. The Mexicans seem to have it under control. No, they fail to deal with it. And Sargent puts it across goal. Oh my days, it is 2-all. The US men's national team have come back from 2-0 down. Now Pulisic making a run in behind, he gets the ball one on one, shoots across goal, USA 3, Mexico 2, the dream could be over for Mexico. How costly was that injury to Edgar Salinas in this game? We we lost. It's it's all my fault. I, I shouldn't have gotten injured. USA have won that first ever World Cup. However, would things have been different if Edgar hadn't gotten injured? Once again, it's time to announce this year's Ballon d'Or winner. We have the same top three from the last three seasons. And once again, Edgar takes it home. Iso and Lee are still yet to win one. But Edgar, even while injured, has done enough to take home its fourth Ballon d'Or. This guy is surely out to beat Messi and his brother's record to become the greatest of all time. Hey Lalo, I got some bad news. I got injured and I let my country, I let our country down. Now I will be out for half of the next season that's coming. Looks like I can't win a Ballon d'Or this year. Another year and another Champions League final for Edgar and Iso. Real Madrid were really staggering this season, but Edgar came back in January and has won them a Copa del Rey, La Liga and has dragged them to the UCL final. He can still win another Ballon d'Or if he wants to win this tie. And they play against Lee's FC Barcelona in El Clasico. Edgar is on the back of four Ballon d'Ors in a row. Surely Edgar will take the victory for Madrid. And the stage is set. The Champions League final. Having missed half a season through the injury he picked up in the World Cup, Edgar Salinas has been in incredible form. Dragging Real Madrid all the way to the Champions League final. Will his influence be big enough tonight to lead Real Madrid to yet another Champions League trophy? Real Madrid with some good interplay around the Barcelona box. The ball is played through to Salinas. He shoots across goal and that is 1-0. Three minutes into the game, Real Madrid lead through Edgar Salinas. Edgar's form this season has been nothing short of breathtaking. And he has surely been the only reason that Real Madrid have got this far. Barcelona holding possession at the back, but no, Real Madrid take the ball with a high press. Edgar Salinas across goal again, and that is 2-0. Edgar Salinas take a bow, two goals within 17 minutes, and Barcelona seem well and truly out of this game. And Barcelona under more pressure with Salinas pressing the centre-back, and yes, another defensive mistake, puts him through on goal, and that's 3-0. What an incredible start to this match for Edgar Salinas. A 19-minute hat-trick in the Champions League final. He is nothing short of breathtaking. And at 3-0, the game ends, the final whistle is blown, and Real Madrid are once again the champions of Europe. Edgar Salinas, with only half a season, was not only able to drag Madrid to the final, but able to secure them the win as well. Hey Edgar, congrats on another UCL. Sadly, I couldn't beat you. <laughs> Thanks, man. There's always next year. 
Hey, Edgar, let's go. Don't talk to that guy. He isn't a winner like us. Oh, OK. Bye, Edgar. And Real Madrid lift the Champions League trophy yet again. It is becoming more than a tradition at this point for Real Madrid and Edgar Salinas to win this trophy. As Real Madrid win yet again another Champions League, Edgar takes another Ballon d'Or after absolutely carrying his side. There is nothing stopping him from becoming the GOAT. Another year, another Ballon d'Or ceremony. Nothing has changed. The top three once again is Lee, Iso and Edgar. Surely the best three players in the world. However, who will make history today? Will Iso or Lee win the first ever Ballon d'Or? Or will Edgar go ahead and tie Messi and more importantly, his brother's record of seven Ballon d'Ors as he's won the last six Ballon d'Ors and a total of five trebles. And the winner is Edgar once again. The kid is going to be the greatest in history. We are witnessing a one of a kind talent. Hey Lalo, I need to say something. I, I'm in a bit of a puzzle, bro. The eighth Ballon d'Or. As crazy as it sounds, I just don't think I want it, man. My mind is telling me to have the best season of my life and become the GOAT. But my heart brings my confidence down because it doesn't want to overtake your legacy and disrespect you. I just, I just, I just don't know what to do, man. Here we go. In this year's World Cup, we are going to have a brand new winner. It is Mexico versus China in the final. Edgar and Iso versus Lee. Edgar has been the best player in the world and if he can win the World Cup, he surely will win his 8th Ballon d'Or in a couple of weeks and become the greatest player of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Cup final and what a final we have. We have the Mexicans, including Edgar Salinas and Iso Latino, playing Lee Tingo and his Chinese teammates. Will Mexico be able to beat China? Will Edgar Salinas finally win a World Cup? And with that, could he go on to win an eighth Ballon d'Or and become the greatest player of all time? We shall soon see as Mexico take on China. We have Edgar Salinas now one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's holding a defender off. Can he put it away? No, he puts it across the goal and over the bar. That's a poor finish. Mexico in possession in the Chinese half once more. Edgar, can he do something? No, he is tackled with ease on the edge of the Chinese box. This is not the Edgar Salinas we are used to seeing. And now Mexico on the break. Edgar Salinas, he's been played through. Surely he's through on goal. Can he finish it? He's one on one. Hits it near post and the goalkeeper puts it over the bar. And now on the attack with China. Can Mexico deal with it? Yes, they seem to. No, they've given the ball away in the area. Lee Tingo with a brilliant finish. That is going to be the winner. The 91st minute, Lee Tingo puts the ball in the back of the net for China. And surely that means China have won the World Cup. And with Lee Tingo being the winner, this must make a big case for him to win his very first Ballon d'Or. Hey Edgar, I'm lucky to not win too. Leave me alone, man. Congrats on your stupid World Cup. Man, finally, you cut off that loser, Lee. Now you can focus on isolating yourself. Focus on your goal and win your eighth Ballon d'Or and become the GOAT. Just don't be a failure like your brother. After a brilliant World Cup final as China upset Mexico, it is now time to determine the Ballon d'Or winner. Will Edgar become the greatest and win his eighth Ballon d'Or? Or will Iso or Lee win their very first? The winner is Lee Tingo. He wins his first ever Ballon d'Or. What a turn. We are here before the final group stage game of the Champions League. Real Madrid need a win to qualify to the next round. After winning this trophy multiple times the last nine years and Edgar winning seven Ballon d'Ors, he is in the worst form of his life. It seems like the pressure is really getting to him as he is the one more Ballon d'Or away from becoming the GOAT of football. There is still time if he wins this game and inspires a Champions League round once again. Question is, will he disappoint his brother and fail? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Champions League football. We have Real Madrid playing Shakhtar Donetsk. And I never thought I'd say this with Edgar Salinas fit and available for Real Madrid, but they must win this game in order to qualify for the knockout stages. Can Edgar Salinas refine the glorious form of his younger years? Or will this be curtains for Real Madrid in the Champions League this season? Vinicius Jr. on the ball plays Edgar Salinas inside and it's a great save. 
The ball is whipped in towards Edgar, who brings it down and turns and puts it over the bar. Ball out wide with Madrid once again, whipped in. A sitter kick from Salinas and it's poor. Real Madrid, oh my word, Edgar Salinas has been put through one on one. He cannot miss this. Surely he puts it away. And my word, that is a horrific finish. And the game finishes 0 0. Real Madrid are out of the Champions League at the group stages. This is a huge shock to world football. No, no, we lost. I lost. What? What is going on with me? I don't know if I can break the record. Full speed, I can't control it. Can't keep up with the rhythm of it. If I break his record, what happens to his legacy? Is this all an illusion? Cause I'm getting deluded. Can't did, keep did I just up get lucky? With the rhythm of it all. Oh, oh. I gotta figure it out right now. Cause I know what you need. Will he hate me if I don't you yield? You want only the best and nothing but the best for me. I gotta figure it out right Should now. I even break his record? You, what you, need. you want only the best and nothing but the best for me. Am I just me. not good enough? Don't know if I can break the record. Will I make my brother proud? Hey Edgar, man are you okay? No, I'm not. What's wrong? For the past 20 years of my life, I have not been able to be okay. My brother's gone. He was my best friend, my hero. And for the past 20 years, I've been holding it all in. I've been isolating myself and not opening up. Not only that, but the past four years, I've been in terrible form because I'm scared. I'm scared to break his record and surpass him. I'm scared of making him mad. I'm scared of destroying his legacy. I, I just don't know what to do, man. Hey Edgar, I'm sorry I'm not in your shoes and I have no idea how you feel, but you need to stop blaming yourself and stop holding these things in. You shouldn't put pressure on yourself. You're the greatest talent the world has ever seen. Your brother would be so proud of you if you win the 8th and cement yourself as the GOAT. His legacy will never be broken because it's what helped create yours. Edgar, you need to learn to let go of the past and believe in yourself. Lee, I'm sorry for pushing you away. You're right. Iso isn't the real friend. You are. I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna have the best season of my life and win the 8th Ballon d'Or for my brother. Here we go. We are about to witness the greatest moment in football history. Mexico versus China in the World Cup Final once again. After four years of terrible form, Edgar has had the greatest season of his life, winning every trophy possible. But there are two that still elude him. His first World Cup and his eighth Ballon d'Or. However, Lee has been comfortably the second best player in the world, as he's won four Ballon d'Ors in a row. So Iso, where do you see this final going? Simple. Edgar is back and he's ready to show that loser Lee who the true GOAT is. Harsh words from Mr. Latino. Lee, any words? I'm just happy to be here. A chance to win my second World Cup and a fifth Ballon d'Or. I will leave my heart on the pitch, but I wish luck to Izo, Edgar, and Mexico. And let's have a good game. Hey, this is Lalo. Can't come to the phone right now. Hey, Lalo. It's me. I just want to say sorry. I've been focused so much on working and not disappointing you that I haven't been able to experience what's around me. I should have been living for you, but rather, I was living in vain. But today, that is going to change. I will win our country its first ever World Cup, win the Ballon d'Or, and make sure our legacy is remembered, and more importantly, yours is. Like I told you 12 years ago, this career, my life, is dedicated to you. I will be just like you, the greatest of all time. From the Chance USA as young prospect to their second World Cup final, today we have world champions Li Ting Go and China in the World Cup final against Mexico with Iso Latino and Edgar Salinas. Edgar Salinas, who has been in horrific form for a number of years. Could this be a game of redemption for Edgar Salinas, for Mexico, and for the legacy that Edgar could leave behind, becoming the greatest player of all time with eight Ballon d'Or wins? 
anything is possible in the World Cup final. We start with Mexico on the attack. Iso Latino in the box. Brilliant finish across goal. Iso Latino puts the ball away. What a great goal and what a position for Mexico to be in. 1-0 up in the World Cup final. Now China in possession and on the attack. Coming in from the wide position. Li Tingo gets the ball in the box and puts it in at the near post. Great save by the Mexican goalkeeper. Another great chance for Li Tingo and China. Li Tingo and he puts it over the bar. That was very close and near miss. And China could have been right back in the game. Mexico with a goal kick played out to the centre back short and oh no Lee Tingo's taking the ball from the Mexican centre back shoots across goal and it is a goal 1-1 a goal apiece for Iso Latino and Lee Tingo surely this is the time for Edgar Salinas to step up and become the Mexican hero Iso Latino chases down Lee Tingo and that's a horrific challenge yeah that is a yellow card for Iso Latino he needs to be careful once again, Iso Latino is chasing Lee Tingo and he goes through the back of him again. 71 minutes in and Iso Latino has seen red. He is off red card for Iso Latino and the game is still one all. This could be very bad for Mexico. They need Edgar Salinas to step up and win this for them. And it looks like Lee Tingo is being taken off due to an injury from that challenge. Iso is gone. Lee is gone. Can Edgar Salinas be the person to win this final? Wow, man, for the first time, I'm alone. Lee is injured, and even Iso is sent off. I'm truly alone. There is no way I can win this World Cup. Edgar, don't doubt yourself. You are not alone. No matter what happens, I'll always be with you. Go, win that World Cup. I will do it, brother. Edgar Salinas carries the ball into the Chinese box. He's taken down from behind and that will be a penalty. Yes, that is a penalty. This could be it. This could be the moment. And Edgar Salinas steps up to take the penalty. All the pressure on his shoulders, the weight of his brother's legacy, the weight of his country's expectation. Can he put the ball away? He steps up and puts the ball in the top corner. That will be the goal that wins Mexico the World Cup. That is the goal that brings Edgar Salinas back into Ballon d'Or contention. And that could be the goal that makes Edgar Salinas the greatest player of all time. Gregory blows the final whistle and Mexico have won the World Cup. Edgar Salinas is the Mexican hero as they lift the World Cup trophy. One question remains, will Edgar Salinas win his eighth Ballon d'Or and will he become the greatest player in history? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Ballon d'Or ceremony. And once again, our final three is Iso, Lee and Edgar. The greatest three players I have ever seen and who I would like to thank for their hard work over the years. But the question is, who will win this history deciding Ballon d'Or? Will it be Lee's time to win his fifth Ballon d'Or and try and catch up to his friend and competitor Edgar? Will World Cup winner Iso Litino win his first ever Ballon d'Or? Or will it be the man Edgar Salinas, the brother of probably the greatest player of all time, unless Edgar wins it today. Three one-of-a-kind players, but there can only be one winner, and the winner is... Edgar Salinas! He has done it and has become the greatest of all time! Ladies and gentlemen, today is a momentous occasion, and I am beyond grateful to stand before you as the newly crowned greatest of all time. But as I revel in this triumph, I cannot help but reflect on the path that led me here. A journey of heartache and self-discovery that began when I was just eight years old. It was a year I lost my beloved brother, Lalo. A figure of greatness who not only inspired me, but also served as my guiding light. For the next two decades, I found myself torn between two choices. To hold on tightly to the cherished memories of my dear brother, allowing his spirit to continue shaping me or to withdraw into isolation, bottling up my emotions and numbing in the pain. Today, as I stand here, I want to share with you the most vital lesson I have learned. The power of vulnerability and the strength in embracing our feelings. Let us honor the memories of our loved ones like my dear brother Lalo by using their legacy as a driving force to create an enduring impact 
that celebrates the indomitable human spirit and the power of love. <laughs>